brown skin girl yeah skin just like pearl hey girl hey girl hey welcome back to the Porter Twins YouTube channel I am Hila and today Twinsers I am going to be sharing with you five steps that would definitely help you grow your hair this has been a really highly requested video here on our channel and I'm here for it so I get so many questions about my hair and I am going to answer them all in this video. Um, I've been growing my hair out for about eight years now. Um, I'm natural. I have not had a relaxer on my hair for eight years. And I feel like that my hair has been at its best. Like it has been growing so much, so much. Um, so. The first step that keeps my hair healthy, that keeps my hair growing, that give it that thickness, um, that just help me retain retention, which is my length, would be I take a biotin pill every day. This is the Spring Valley Biotin. It is the 10,000 micrograms. Um, it is a dietary supplement. It is for hair, skin, and healthy nails and it comes with 120 soft gel tablets i have been taking this for years and when i tell you that it helps my hair grow hair grows all over my body and i feel like this is the best thing you don't have to take this exact brand but i always suggest that if you're wanting to grow your hair out um if you're having problems like not retaining your hair um i would suggest a vitamin peel for your hair biotin um it doesn't have to be straight biotin it can be biotin and collagen um anything that has biotin in it will help and i suggest that you take it and you take it daily i take this daily i do not forget i keep my biotin by my bed i keep it in the kitchen every place i feel like that i will look i keep it because it's so easy to just like overlook it but i feel like that a lot of women should be taking a multivitamin daily anyway and i just keep this with all of my other vitamins that i take daily and it really does help my hair um i feel like that this is like the number one step into growing your hair is taking a hair vitamin pill and being consistent in taking a hair vitamin pill the next thing that I want to talk about, the second thing that I feel like is very important to getting long hair is clipping your ends. I go in and um, ring clips my ends two times a year. Um, most of the time they don't need it, but I just like to do it because I've been doing it, you know, two times a year for the last past eight years. And it's just a routine that um, I do on my hair. A lot of times I don't need it because I use really good products that help with shedding and breakage and help maintain healthy hair that if you're doing that, then you don't need these. But I feel like that every girl should be going in and clipping her ends because it's just you know it helps it grow and it gives it like a really clean look my hair is cut in a v-shape um so that's why you see it like this because it's cut in a v-shape and it just help keeps down shedding it helps give your hair the healthy look it'll bring the thickness back this is something that you should be doing two times a year every six months clipping your ends now these clippers that I got they are the um, from F R O M M so I think that's how you spell you pronounce it from um, I got them from Sally's and um, they work really well I've been having them for like two years and they're really good shears they are salon shears so they cut really well I know a lot of people be using like household scissors so no you can get a really good I pay like $55 for these shears but you can get like really good shears at Walmart or Target for like under $10 please when you're clipping your ends if you're doing them at home please get hair shears and not like you know kitchen 
scissors or like your uh, brother or sister scissors or you know just get hair scissors y'all because I've seen some weird stuff but yeah you want your hair to be you know trim right with hair scissors so the next thing which is the third thing is really important and I get a lot of questions on Instagram and on YouTube about shampoos and conditioner I'm going to link my Instagram somewhere around here so if you're not following me you can because I also do hair tips on my Instagram but shampoo and conditioner is really important um, I'm going to show you a um, salon brand and a drugstore brand um I'm going to say this when I am wearing my hair natural in the summertime I use a lot of drugstore brands and they work perfectly fine on my hair but when it comes to like a silk press that's when I go to the salon brands and I feel like that it works better for me but one of my favorite drugstore brands is by um, OGX and this is the extra value biotin and collagen conditioner and shampoo now i use this on my straight hair and my curly hair because i feel like that ogx is a really good brand and i like that they have the biotin and collagen i really like any type of shampoo or conditioner that has biotin and collagen um if you are new to the channel i use a lot of shampoos different shampoos with biotin and collagen because it brings that thickness to your hair and it promotes growth um this shampoo is like six dollars for each and i like that it has vitamin b7 which is biotin it has collagen it has um bamboo fiber abstract and wheat protein when you wash and condition your hair with this conditioner and shampoo it leaves your hair so thick it moisturizes like i absolutely love this um drugstore brand it's like one of my favorites if you're new to the channel listen everybody needs shampoo and conditioner from OGX because it's just bomb and it's inexpensive but it really does work if you are someone who has like thinning hair if you have shedding damaged hair from color I always say go get the OGX biotin and collagen because it'll help with you know bring that thickness back it'll help with growth the wheat protein will help you maintain you know your length or you know get your length back I just love it and this is like one of my favorites they changed the bottle because the bottle didn't used to be um see-through it just used to be like purple but so bomb and again you can get these for like twelve dollars for both of them the next shampoo I'm going to show you is a shampoo that I use all the time. Well, I'm not going to say all the time because I have like 12 shampoos in rotation um, that I use throughout like my soup press months. But one of the salon brands that I absolutely love is the Metrix Biolodge. And this is a hydrating source shampoo with aloe. Um, it's for dry hair because I have dry hair. Um, I like that it is a hydrating shampoo because, you know, it helps you with that moisture. Now, I also go in every six months when I clip my ends and I dye my hair black. Most of the time I buy the salon products when they have sales. They will have like two for 30 and I go in and I buy my shampoo and conditioners um and they have it like at beauty brands they have it sometime at also and that's when i go in and i spend like 200 dollars and i get all the shampoo that i like you know for the year because these big daddies they last us so long um especially with shampoo not so much with conditioner um because i use conditioner on my hair like like it's my hair medicine but i really love this shampoo because it does hydrate if you have dyed hair it handles that it helps with damaged hair it helps to repair your hair um i always say when you're shopping for shampoos and conditioners to look to read what it says and whatever is going on with your hair that's the type of shampoo that you get a lot i see a lot of people i see this all the time in stores where people just go for the cheapest brand and if you're like me i don't put a price on my hair if it's a shampoo that's fifty dollars and i know my hair needed and it says that it's going to help with damage it's going to help with growth it's going to help with shedding then i'm going to buy it you know i feel like that my hair is an investment my head is too big for me not to have no hair but um i say that all the time but it's the truth but 
the Metro Biolage is one of my favorite shampoos, higher end to use. Um, if you don't catch a sale, then you probably will be spending like $30 to $40 per bottle. That's why I always say, you know, I get mine when they have a sale and I go in and I get all the shampoos that I like for my straight hair. And I always get shampoos no matter what. I always get shampoos that hydrate my hair, that brings my moisture back. I get shampoos that helps with damaged hair, even though my hair is not damaged. Damage. I get shampoos that help with breakage even though my hair is not breaking but it prevents it from happening and that's how I've been keeping my you know length and my hair looking really healthy not only do I condition my hair when I condition my hair I let my conditioner stay on my hair for 45 minutes so I go in and I shampoo twice then I put the conditioner on there and then I go in with like a plastic cappy and I let this conditioner sit on my hair for 45 minutes I do this process with all of my shampoos and conditioner no matter what it is that's why I like to get really good conditioners that help with like damaged hair they help with um, you know shedding and things like that because I know that I'm going to let it sit on my hair for about 45 minutes so it can do what it do after I go in and I rinse out this my first conditioner I go in with a hair mask now today I'm showing you guys the coconut oil nutrition rich hair mask it helps repair and prevent damage and it's paraben free it's by all the ology and um, this is a new hair mask that I have been using, but I like it because it has the coconut oil in it. So it's going to bring back that nutrition to my hair. It's going to bring back that moisture to my hair. It's going to repair my hair if I have any damage. I just love this. I let a hair mask sit on my hair for a long time. I'm not going to tell you guys what, um, how many minutes because I let it sit on my hair for a long time and sometimes I fall asleep and I just rest it out the next morning. But one thing that I do different from when my hair wasn't this long was condition it. I used to go and get my hair done like every two weeks. But one thing that I noticed is that the persons the people who were doing my hair, they never really put the conditioner on my hair and let it sit. They just put it on there and then rinse it out and that's not how it works especially with black hair you need conditioner and you need to let it sit if you don't want to let it sit for about 45 minutes like I do let it sit for 10 minutes but I don't feel like that you should just be rinsing it out especially if you want to grow your hair let it sit I always set a date and time that I do my hair so I have no interruptions and then I can just really focus on my hair um, when I wash my hair I wash my hair every like three weeks Sometimes four, sometimes just like once a month because when it comes to my hair, like I don't put a lot of oil in it. I do use oil and I'm coming up to the oils part of my hair routine, but I don't put a lot of oil on my hair. Um, I don't put a lot of product in my hair. So my hair doesn't, you know, need to be washed you know every week every two weeks i feel like that if you're a girl and you want to grow your hair push it back um two and a half weeks three weeks try your best not to continue to wash it and condition it all the time because if you wash your hair all the time you're going to see that your hair is going to start shedding because it's going to be very dry and then you're going to have to go in and drench your hair, and hair oil and then that clogs up your pores and prevents growth listen if you have my type of hair, black hair, I don't feel like that you should be washing your hair every week, not even every two weeks. I feel like that you should, you know, that two and a half, three week time is just perfect. And always, always use a hair mask, even if you have natural hair. When I have natural hair, I still condition my hair. Like I use a regular conditioner and then I go on with a hair mask. I condition my hair twice during my hair routine and that is what grows my hair. I can't say it enough. You need to get really good conditioner and you need to let it sit on your hair. It'll grow it. I ain't saying let it sit on your hair all day and all night, but 30 to 45 minutes will do up under a plastic cap and then rinse it out with warm water. Thank me later. So the third thing was the shampoo and conditioner. The fourth was the hair mask. I have so many hair masks that, you know, my rotation is like yearly. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a shame but I have like 25 hair masks that I use on my hair and I try to like rotate them unless I'm just like in love and I may use it like two maybe three times but 
a hair mask is very important because if you have colored hair it's going to help you you know give that protective layer that you need um i like that a lot of hair masks it restores your hair you know it helps with the damaged hair um a lot of them help with growth promoting growth like to me i don't do my hair if i don't have a hair mask because i know that i need two conditioners on my hair and i know that my hair like it's hair medicine for my hair so i would invest in um a hair mask this hair mask was like ten dollars um another thing that i was going to share with you guys i got it for like ten dollars at like tj maxx or marshall's tj maxx and marshall's is like my in-between store when alta is not having a sale on hair products when beauty brands is not having a, a sale on um hair products i go to tj maxx and marshall's because they have a lot of really good products that you can get for inexpensive and sometimes they have the big daddies so you know if you can't afford to go to um alta or Rudy brands i get this from marshall's and tj maxx it's only ten dollars um, very inexpensive. You'll find a lot of good hair products there. Um, they have a lot of salon products there. They have a lot of drugstore too. So it's a mixture. So you can get, you know, your natural hair products and your higher end products for inexpensive prices. And, you know, that's what I do. You know, that's my in between. That's my little trick I do. So the last thing is that I wrap my hair. Um, or I tie my hair up at night. I never go to sleep with my hair just out. Even if I have natural hair, um, I tie it up. I never go to sleep with my hair just laying on my pillow or, you know, just out and about. Even if I'm with, you know, my husband, I'm like, hey, babe, you know, I got to wrap my hair. You know, then we can do what we do. But always, always tie your hair up or wrap it. And this is the reason why during the time of sleeping you can sweat your hair gets wet when your hair is wet is at its weakest point and it can cause your hair to shed break i know so many people write me on instagram or here on youtube saying i woke up this morning and my hair was on my pillow you know i had a lot of hair on my pillow and the first thing that i asked is like did you wrap your hair you know, do you have a bonnet? Do you have a silk scarf? You need to be wrapping your hair at night. That is a must. In this video, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to put a clip in right now on how I wrap my hair. So when I was, you know, planning for this video, I did my five steps, but then I felt like that I should throw some extra things in there that I do. And one of the extra things that I am going to share with you guys is a leave-in conditioner. Um, not only do I put two conditioners on my hair and I rinse them out, I also go in with really good leave-in conditioners that help my hair throughout the three weeks that I'm just, you know, doing my daily routine. So these conditioners, this is Ring Favor Conditioner. It is really expensive, but it is like bomb. It's called It's a 10, and it's a Miracle Leave In Conditioner, and it is a 10 in 1. So it helps with dry and damaged hair. It adds shine, it detangles, it helps with frizz, it helps with color, it prevents split ends, it um, prevents breakage, it creates a silky look. It gives you body and last it protects your hair from heat so if you're a girl and you 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 know straighten your hair this is a really good heat protection now let me touch on that um i have always asked this question too i only straighten my hair one time a month i don't go in between the three weeks i just wrap my hair if my hair has a crease in it or something i just brush it like i don't go in with heat heat is a no-no it's just not good for your hair so i just try to put as 
less heat as possible because like it can really damage your hair so most of the time i just use a um, flat iron probably once maybe twice that's if i'm going somewhere and if it's looking bad bad then i'll go on the second time and i'll you know flat iron it but when i do flat iron it i go in with my kenra platinum blow dry heat protection spray or i go in with my it's a 10 because this is going to help the heat damage not even be on your hair bomb now with a leave-in conditioner me personally i love any conditioner that has biotin in it because you know biotin it promotes growth or collagen now when it comes to a leave-in conditioner for me i like anything that has biotin and collagen in it because it's going to promote the growth it's going to give me that thick look that i like you know, like I like a full look. I don't like for my hair to look really thin. Irene um, is the same way. One of my favorite um, leave-in conditioners is Form um, to Table. And this is a biotin coconut thickening leave-in conditioner. And it is just infused with biotin and coconut. And when I tell you that it makes your hair look so healthy, it's what I have in my hair now. Um... It makes it look so healthy, so thick. It brings that shine. Like, I absolutely love this conditioner. I have a second one that I use too that has biotin and collagen in it. And it's by Joanne Jones. But Form to Table is one of my favorite. Um, I got this from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And this is like one of the best leave-in conditioners that I've ever used on my hair. And I get it from TJ Maxx. Um, bomb, bomb, bomb. Very important. Always need a leave-in conditioner, whether your hair is natural or straight. You know, this is a step that you don't want to, you know, overlook. Now, the last thing, which I know you guys are like wondering when she go mention, you know, a hair oil. Now, um, when it comes to hair oil, I don't go in and like grease my scalp with like a hair grease. I do it sometime in, um, the summer times, like if I'm wearing my hair natural because sometimes it gets really um, dry so I have to go in but when I wear my hair straight I don't do that um, one of my favorite serums and hairsprays is by OGX this is the renewing Oregon oil of Morocco extra penetrating oil for dry and coarse hair so this is for black hair um, it has Oregon oil from Morocco and it helps to you know make your hair smoother it helps with damage and dry hair and it helps with coarse hair um, this is a serum. You don't need a lot. A little goes a long way. I do like two dom size amount um, in my palm daily and run it through my hair. The next thing I use, I keep this in my car and my desk at work and my purse um, because I go throughout um, the day and I will spray this on my hair. This is the Renewal Organ Oil of Morocco Weightless healing dry oil and i say weightless because it is not going to leave your hair oily i hate 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 oily hair because that means you're going to have to wash it soon um and when my hair gets oily that tells me okay gila it's time for you to wash it um but when i'm doing my silk press you know i don't like for my hair to be oily so i always go in with a dry healing weightless oil no matter where it's from whether it is high-end or drugstore it's always weightless this is going to be a weightless oil too it's not going to make your hair really greasy um if you are that type of person who like that greasy look then i would say go in with like a um any type of oil that's like a um i can't even think of one Anything that has like um, black castor oil, things like that, like I don't use all the time on my hair. That's like a summer, you know, hair oil to me. But if you really are a type of person like I really need that, you know, that shine and you like that greasy look, then a black castor oil would help you out um, and it promotes growth. Now, for a higher end serum, I had to pull out the best one I have. This is the Paul Mitchum um, Super Skinny Serum. This is the biggest size that they have. This is really expensive. It's about, what, $35, maybe $40. 
but I absolutely love this. When I wrap my hair at night, I use this. Um, it is a serum, but it is very lightweight. It smells so good. Um, I love Paul Mitchum hair products. It's just bomb. And I like that it gives my hair that shine, but it doesn't weigh it down. Um, this is by far one of my fave, fave, favorites. It is kind of pricey, but I don't put a price on my hair, and I love it. Um, you're going to see, well, you're already seeing that I use this to, you know, wrap my hair. Once you get into like, you know, having a hair routine, all of these products and things like, it'll just come, like it'll come and it'll be like, okay, I need a leave-in conditioner. Okay, I need a hair mask. Okay, let me pick up a good conditioner and shampoo. Like, um, my whole closet is dedicated to natural hair and straight hair products and you know, it's not overwhelming once you get used to it. I hope this video helped you out. And if you have any questions, hit me up on Instagram or in the comment section below. Like always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you Twinsers in my next video. Peace and blessings. Bye, girl.